I'm going to show you today just how good a browser can get on macOS. Arc browser is that browser I wish I had during my good old Chrome days. Designing tutorial though. Yeah, it's just me showing you all the features of Arc browser and how they work. Starting with this beautiful one time opening animation screen. So let's start with the basics. What's the immediate interface like? All right, so we are in a browser. I've signed in. Yeah, this is exactly what it is. Yeah, very nice and it's not really intrusive. As a matter of fact, we can hide or show this toolbar. Yeah, this whether it's Google.fr. Yeah, we can view hide toolbar. Once you do that, you get the whole real estate of your display. Yeah. Which is very cool. You get to actually use your full space, and also you can see the sidebar. Yeah, this is where your tabs are stored. Yeah, there is no horizontal option, it's just a vertical sidebar. Yeah, but it's very good for multitasking as you can just scroll between your tabs, and you can also arrange them in folders as you can see. Yep, so that's basically the interface. Yeah, on the toolbar, we get the sidebar hide and show we also have the refresh button or reload the copy link the back and you know next or forward whatever it's called yeah i actually prefer my toolbar showing because it's easier to access all this yeah we have this menu bar already right so we can access our extensions we also have picture in picture as you can see which means when we play a youtube video and we go somewhere else on our desktop we still get our video showing we can try it out though all right so this is what canva looks like although you would notice my internet connection is not that good yeah you can see the toolbar is color matched yeah the color adjusts to whichever page you load yeah the background color of that page very nice for aesthetics back to our picture in picture talk let's check out youtube all right so this is a video on my channel yeah let's check out the picture in picture this is a very handy feature and it works for a variety of apps, not just YouTube. Yeah, virtually every video streaming website. Yeah, which is very nice. In developer mode, you get all these options here and you also see the URL becomes easier to change. Yeah, doesn't look as aesthetic as it used to, but it still looks good enough. Yeah, need good for like developers that are trying to like navigate between directories yeah it helps you just add a slash and add what you want something like this yeah there are many use cases too but that's just what me i did all right let's turn it off before you turn it off you can see there is a handy inspect button on the right pane yeah you can access your chrome dev tools of course this is a chromium based browser so that should be possible but that's not for today I could do, but this is all about YouTube not coding. We also have a very nice feature I'd like to show you. It's called split screen. So when you want to split screen, you come over to the top right corner to this split icon and let's add a right split. Yeah, and let's add Google. Yep. Let's search for Apple. Yeah, you can see we have split windows on the left and the right yeah that's technically split screen you can also share the window size depending on the ratio you want to one good thing about the sidebar is that the sidebar actually helps you do a lot not just arranging tabs you can organize folders you can even create easels you can even control media playback from the sidebar also there's a function called little arc yeah little arc is like a little window that pops up when you want to open a different window or let's say you send a link from your iphone to your mac or you click a random link somewhere else that throws you to your browser and it opens up separately without distracting you from what you are doing let me show you how it works so i have a link now and i'm going to share it yeah you can see it opened 
up separately yep and it plays it's you that would choose you know if you want to open it in the main page eventually i don't know what's wrong with my internet though but it's getting pretty annoying yep so when you click on it it takes you to the main page which is a very handy feature the final feature is called arc max all right so this is on splash and i'm going to show you some pro features yeah i should have even showed you these at the first instance yeah these are like the best features of arc in settings you'll see them under arc max or max yeah when you enable max you have tidy tabs instance links ask on page five second previews tidy tab titles tidy downloads and chat gpt yeah i don't really care about all of them but downloads titles previews much better all right so let's see man go you see yeah that's an example very nice preview let's try this also yeah pretty interesting yeah so you can preview the search results before you even click on the link yeah this is a very good example of that the next arc feature i want to show you is tidy downloads yeah and what that does is that it actually helps you rename your downloads to make them neater especially those that come with weird complex names yeah so for instance let's download one wallpaper so this yeah you can see it was renamed freddy era from this funny thing you can see crossed over here yeah, so that's what you call smart download renaming which is an arc future all right that was basically every important feature in arc yeah the rest are kind of unimportant and you can also check them out when you install the app yourself well 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 i guess you're happy now well mission accomplished <laughs>